going on YouTube? Unlimited Hustle here. I wanted to show you guys how much I make on Sundays. So Sundays are my best days. That's when I make the most money. Yesterday I was able to show you guys that I averaged $20 an hour. It was a little over $20. I did about five hours. I did 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right now it's 4.43. I got on the app about five minutes ago at my apartment. So I'll say I started around 4.40 and I'm gonna go all the way until around 10 o'clock. So it'll be a little bit over five hours, like five hours and 20 minutes. And usually on Sundays, I'm definitely able to do the $20 an hour. By 10 o'clock, I'm looking to have about $105 maybe, somewhere along that line. I'm actually headed right now to pick up my first order. Turn the app on in my apartment and I was able to get an order immediately. By the time I get there, the order should be somewhat ready. It's at Chili's right here. This one was paying $7.75 for four miles, so a pretty good start, I would say. Hopefully I can finish this one by five, and then from five to 10, I wanna make $100. First order completed. And what do you know, it started raining again. So just like yesterday, we're gonna be doing dash, we're gonna be dashing in the rain. And I forgot my umbrella again. But here's a tip for you guys. I turn the app on when I'm in the house and I get orders coming in. So that way, when I'm at home, I could already accept an order. And then by the time I drive to the restaurant, it'll be ready already. So instead of, you know, you driving out to a restaurant and then turn the app on, you can actually do it from home while you're getting ready. That's basically what I did. I turned my app on at home and then by the time I got to the restaurant, it was already ready. And I was able to do that order in 15 minutes. I pick up my second order. This one was $11 for seven miles. One thing I do to bring up my average amount of money I make per hour is I try not to really focus on the miles, but more so focus on how much it's paying. I try to stick to the higher paying orders because I noticed that I make less doing the smaller orders for less miles. So for example, right, let's say my goal is to make $20 an hour. And if I'm doing $5 orders, that means I have to do four $5 orders to make $20. Or let's say I'm doing a $7 order. I'm gonna have to do three. I like to do like a nine and $10 order and try not to worry about the miles. As long as it's not like over eight miles, I'm fine. Like this order is perfect. It's paying me $11 for seven miles. That means that I know for sure that I have $11 secured and this order is gonna take me about 30 minutes. That means I have another 30 minutes to make $9. And that's very much possible. Whereas with doing four orders, you know, within an hour, a lot could happen, right? You got to go to four different restaurants. That's four different times that you have a possibility of getting a late order or, you know, something going wrong. You go to the restaurant and they said that they gave it to another dasher or it increases your chance of failure. So this is just something I found that worked for me. So I just completed that order. That was a Panda Express. That one paid me $11 in change and that was going seven miles. It did take me out of my zone. So I live in a small city. So anything like over six miles, is gonna take me out of my zone. Sometimes you're not gonna have those higher paying orders and you don't wanna keep the client orders and waiting. So sometimes you might have to do the $7 and then do three orders within that hour. Just accepted an order paying $17 for 11 miles. Yes, the 11 miles is pretty far, but I wasn't gonna turn on a $17. Got another tip for you guys. The restaurant I'm going to right now, this is a restaurant where I usually get orders for my Sundays. So because I was in the area, I told myself that I was gonna drive by this restaurant and wait. It's a sit down Japanese restaurant and they usually pay pretty good. Because I was already close to the area, I told myself that I was gonna wait by this restaurant because I know that they usually tip well and give good orders. That's why I try to stay in my own backyard because I know which restaurant go to go to and I know which restaurant tip good. The thing is, the person that's usually closest to the restaurant gets that order. So in my situation, I was the closest person to this restaurant. So I was the one that the order was, was given to. Just dropped off that order. That one was $17, 11 miles. Most of the miles were highway miles, so it don't take that long. It took me 15 minutes to get there and drop it off. That order is gonna take about 25 minutes and it paid $17, so that's pretty good. Remember, my goal is to make um, $10 in half an hour and 
that won't allow me to make 17 and a half an hour. I'm officially two hours in and I'm at 47.26. I'm $7 over the $20 mark. And if things do get slowed down, it's still gonna be good for me because I'm seven dollars over. Right now I'm out of my zone, so I'm gonna rush back and over to my zone so I can start getting orders. I should be back in my zone in the next five minutes. I'm on my way to pick up another order right now from Panera Bread. This one is eight dollars for five miles. After the previous order, I had to wait like 10 minutes to get a good order, or maybe longer. I don't know, for some reason it slowed down a lot since my last order, so I had to wait like maybe over 10, 15 minutes to get another order. I'm still looking good for now, so I should be able to still average out that $20 an hour. Let me just finish this one real quick. Should be ready. I'm officially three hours in. I'm at $65.76. So far, so good. It did slow down. I had a few restaurants where I went to where I had to wait, and I had some smaller orders. Some hours are gonna be good and some hours are gonna be bad. So you just wanna kind of balance out to make it $20 an hour. I got two more hours left, and let's see if we could do like $40 within those last two hours. I just got screwed over at Chili's. I waited about 15, 20 minutes at Chili's waiting for the food. And it's finally ready. So this hour right here, I won't be able to make the $20 an hour. This is what you have to go through. Some restaurants will have you waiting a long time. It didn't really make sense for me to cancel because I already waited a long time. Plus, you know, what if I cancel and there's nothing better or nothing else that I could do? As you could see in the video, I checked for the food like four or five times and it still wasn't ready. So basically what the guy said was that they got hit with a lot of orders um, because now they're closing earlier. Before they used to close at 11, but now they're closing at nine. So I guess everybody's trying to get their order in before they close. So they got hit with a wave of orders and it was like five or six other dashers and they're waiting for food. Luckily, um, I got mine within like 15, 20 minutes, so. And I'm not going too far, I'm going a mile, a mile away, so it's about a five minute drive. But definitely, um, I'm not gonna be able to average out that $20 an hour due to this. I just wanna be transparent with you guys. You're not gonna always have a good day with DoorDash. There's so much that could happen that could hinder you from meeting your goals or reaching certain expectations. And this is one of them. I don't do $20 an hour consistently. Some days are better than others where I could do it easily, but you know, a day like this where unfortunately, um, and that's the thing, like one, one restaurant could screw up your whole day. Like 20 minutes waiting is a long time. Like I could do an order in 20 minutes. So basically, the amount of time this is going to take, I could have did like two orders in the time this one order going to take me. And it's only a $6 order. I'm officially four hours in and I'm at $82. The orders at Chili's did take forever, but I made up for it with my next order. I got a liquor order. That one was $10.50 and it was only going four miles. Right now I'm back on track for averaging $20 an hour. I have another hour left and let's see what we could do in an hour. I would like to do two big orders within the hour so that way I could guarantee that I'm gonna be able to make it. And there you have it. I'm officially five hours in. Let me end dash right now. I made $104.90. Today was a rocky day. It's like I started off good and then it went down, orders stopped coming, and then it went back up. Then it go down and go back up. At some point, I was like, damn, I'm not gonna be able to do the $20 an hour. Then my next order would be something good. And it's like, yes, I'm back on track and then it just go back and forth. Similar results like yesterday, but only thing with today, 
I did a night shift, so I did five to 10. And the peak started at nine o'clock. So I think I had two orders on the peak and the peak is a, a dollar, the peak is a dollar bonus. So I got two extra dollars from the peak. Yesterday I did two to five, so there was no peak. Today felt longer for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's nighttime right now. This five hour felt way different from yesterday's five hour. Like yesterday felt quick. Like I was surprised it was five hours already. But today, it started off fast, but man, I'm tired. I just wanted to show you guys how I average $20 an hour on the weekends. And you guys see on the weekends, I'm able to do a little bit over $20 an hour. And that's why I choose to be a part-time dasher. And on the weekdays that is busy, I don't have as much orders coming in, but you know, everybody market is different, so everybody's gonna have different results. But I just wanna show you guys what happens for me and be transparent as possible. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video, leave a comment down below, and let me know how much you guys are able to do a weekend.